beautiful friends. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to a new video. Today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite, my current favorite drugstore products. I do change my mind quite frequently when it comes down to any products really. I could be going ham over something this month but if next month I find something that's better in quality or comparable in quality but lower in price, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So that's why I think I'm going to have to update these videos quite periodically but, bleh, tongue twister. But there have been several drugstore products that I've been using for a while, continuously repurchasing, and anytime I can find a good quality product at an affordable price, that is freaking awesome. So that's why I wanted to share with your beautiful face today. And if you ever decide to try them, then please tag me in your posts or comments or your social media channels and whatnot and let me know your feedback about them. So without further ado, here are my current favorites. The first product I'm going to show you is a makeup one and it's the Physician's Formula Warm Nude Palette. That's what I used to do my makeup today. I've used this probably five or six times and each single time I'm impressed with the fact that they're very highly pigmented and they last a long time. So, boom. These are just a couple of swatches. The top two can be used as highlighters as well. I will list all these products below, but to wrap this one up, I do like the fact that you get a wide variety of different nudes. I love the shimmer, I love the fact that they're long lasting, I like the fact that they're creamy, easy to apply, and they're extremely pigmented. For the second drugstore favorite, also a makeup product, and also from Physicians Formula. The product that I really love from them, and you have been seeing me using this in many past videos, is the Argan Wear BB Cream. For a long time I've been using BB cream instead of foundation. Now that I finally found a foundation that I like, which I shared with you guys, um, now that I found a foundation that I like, I feel like, okay, I can use that at night or something if I want, you know, more coverage. But during the day, during warm, hot days, then I always go with a BB cream. Not only does it have some coverage, some tinted coverage, but they do have added skincare benefits like antioxidants and SPF and such. I am wearing this. I'm not wearing any foundation today. I literally applied primer, BB cream, I contoured my face, concealer, and then powder. So that's it. I really love this. The last makeup products I wanted to show you are from Revlon and they are the Color Burst Matte Balms. They're called balms, but honestly they just look like, oh, you're like sticking out. <laughs> they are more like very balmy lip crayons, lipsticks, whatever. They are pretty good actually. They are pretty rich and pretty pigmented and they last, they do last a couple of hours. Are they comparable to like an Anastasia lipstick or a Kat Von D lipstick? Not exactly, but considering that it's at a very affordable price, I do believe that they are pretty worth it. One thing I did notice about these products though, they have a tendency to kind of run off into the sunset and hide into some of the like lip cracks. So I do do recommend dabbing some powder on top of your lips, applying one coat, dabbing with a napkin, and then applying a second coat. And the odds of it staying and not running away like a little bastard, the odds are a lot higher. Okay, now since we we're talking makeup, let's talk makeup removers. And I like to use just about every night Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Towelettes for sensitive skin. Unlike many products of uh, its kind, what I like about this is that A, the towelettes are actually wet. Like how many times have you purchased makeup remover towelettes and they're dry? What? What purpose do you serve? Yes, these are actually very, very moist, which I can appreciate. Also, unlike many brands, sadly, these have no parabens, no that, uh, yeah, and no petrochemicals. When you can't even read something like, ah, why do we keep putting that shit on our face? I use this at night to remove all my makeup and then I just wash my face. The next makeup removing product that I use, especially during the cold months, it's, okay, it's kind of legendary. It's like a vintage product. You may have heard your grandma and whatnot um, using it and you're familiar with it. You might have seen it, but you just never really tried it. I was like that until about a year ago when I discovered this cream and I've been really in love and I have noticed that whenever I take my makeup off with it at night during the cold months of the year, my skin is progressively less dry. So I've been committed to it ever since figuring that out and that is a cold cream cleanser. I'm using this one from Pons. Like I said, I have been using this brand for a little while but as I've been raising my awareness a little bit about products that shouldn't be on our skin, I did notice that this has mineral oil and I'm not a believer in mineral oil anymore so I'm going to look for 
um, a cleaner, more organic replacement. So when I find one, I will let you know. Till I find one, though, I will continue using this because my skin is just not as dry. So moisturized skin, happy skin. Let's move along with the products. The next is a dry shampoo and it's from Pantene. Price point wise, I think this is somewhat between Suave price and Batiste price, so it's somewhere in the middle. It is what I used this morning on my hair and around day five, which today is day five of not washing for me, day five is when I started applying some dry shampoo, day six as well, and then day seven I wash my hair. It is better for the hair if you don't wash it as much. I've been talking about it, I feel like I'm blue in the face. It's much better if you don't wash your hair there often. So dry shampoo makes a difference. I like the fact that this doesn't really get white like many um, Batiste ones do. And I don't know, it's, I may change my mind in two months from now. But for right now, this is what I've been using for about a month or so and I do like it. The next product also for our hair is Argan Oil Hair Treatment from Agadir. I don't know how you say it. I did like the fact that this was alcohol free because oddly enough I've seen hair treatment oils that have alcohol in them I'm like wait what? I'm sure that there are cleaner alternatives for this but until I learned about them and until I continue educating myself this one has been pretty good and pretty solid with me. You can see the bottle is down to here and this is like the third or fourth bottle that I've been purchasing. I've been using this for a little while and what I like to do is when my hair dries out I give it a nice little brush and then I just apply this at the end so basically yeah, these are my ends. Pretty crazy. <laughs> I really need a trim. Um, I just apply it kind of like at the ends like that and I, make, and I make sure that I kind of rub everything together and get every hair strand covered with this fabulous oil. Also for the hair, and I featured this in a previous video, it's the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play Volumizing and Texturizing Powder. This is probably the fourth bottle that I purchased from the drugstore. It's a white powder that you... Oh, and there it went. Woo, up in the air. <laughs> What was I thinking? <laughs> it's a white powder that you gently tap at the roots of your hair and then you massage in and then you will give your hair boosted volume and especially if you have longer strands like mine which really need a cut and whatnot, it really does add some necessary volume. Next, so a little while back I learned about the benefits of applying your body moisturizer, your body cream, while still in the shower. You just took a nice hot shower, there's a steam, your pores are wide open. That little moisture will really help your body cream to kind of go through and really be absorbed much better than it would if you apply it just splat on dry skin already. So I've been trying to do that, like it's so bizarre, like up until this came out I've been having like different body lotions like in the shower and like trying to apply them and then tapping dry, but then this came out and I'm like, oh, okay, right on. So it's the Jerkins Wet Skin Moisturizer, which helps lock hydration at skin's peak moisture moment for luminous skin. And it's got refreshing coconut oil. What I do is that I take a shower and before reaching for my towel, I just kind of wipe the excess water off of me and I apply like a dime size of this and then I just start rubbing it in. And then I grab my towel and I gently my skin like that and I have to be honest it really has made a difference I do feel like I don't need to apply body cream afterwards and I do have a tendency sometimes to get lazy when it comes to my body cream so if you already got me like all wiped up and I'm dry and I'm gonna reach for the moisturizer but if I'm still in the shower like there's still stuff I gotta do so I'm, I'm like cool with being like oh, okay I have one more step and I'm good to go last but not least in my attempt to replace as many products that I can in my daily routine with better, healthier, more natural and organic alternatives, I found this Natural Dentist Healthy Gums Anti-Gingivitis Rinse. Okay, it's just a mouthwash. <laughs> I originally bought this brand at Mother's Market. If you're not familiar with that um, store, it's basically like a natural, organic store. They have produce and beauty products and vitamins and things like that. So anyway, I have been using it for a little while. I ran out and one day when I stopped at CVS, I saw it there. So I was like, SCORE! This has officially become a drugstore favorite. I'm so freaking excited to share this with everybody. Okay, on a tasting scale from one to 10, one. <laughs> it really does taste kind of nasty, depending on which one you use. I use a different kind and I was like, oh. <laughs> mm. Honestly, depending on which one you get, they do not taste like the Act mouthwash or the Listerines of the world and whatnot. I was like, oh. <laughs> 
This one actually tastes better. This is the Healthy Gums um, Peppermint Twist with 20% purified aloe vera one. So the taste is definitely more tolerable. There's no alcohol in it, there are no artificial flavors, no colors. So from what I can gather, it is a healthier alternative. And honestly, like... Whatever, I can deal with that. It's not the greatest tasting thing in the world and my mouth won't smell like peppermint gum, but if it's a better alternative, it's good. We're good people, we're, we're good. If there are any specific products that you are obsessed with from the drugstore, I would love to know about them. So please leave me a comment below and I would really enjoy going to check them out and see what you love. Definitely stay tuned because next Friday is giveaway time, so I'm really excited about that. The designer bag I purchased for you guys that I'm going to fill with a bunch of beauty goodies is set to arrive today, so almost time! May good luck and fortune follow you everywhere you go today and every day. I may not know you, but I love you. And I appreciate you so much for your love and your unconditional support this holiday season and every day of the year. Thank you for being here and I'll see you very soon. Bye!